New general manager, new faces, new era. We're still being introduced to these guys. They're part of our team now. They joined us. We didn't join them. But it's even better when they embrace us. The last time we talked to Arthur Blank, he said that he believed that this team could be competitive right now. We want to win now. We can win now. Terry Fontenot and Coach Arthur Smith, they are on top of this. I can win with this roster. I can win in this division. We're excited about first day of practice. We're excited about the beginning of the season. And uh, this is the first time we've been on campus in two years. So um, welcome back to football. All teams reporting to camp. All teams will start. There are so many questions that I have. You know, what is this team going to look like on both sides of the ball? What are these new faces going to be? We know who these people are, but we haven't seen how they work together. Your new regime, like all of this time matters, especially over the years as the NFL has cut back. This matters. This is a lot of things that they're having to put on their shoulders over the course of this training camp. This is a very, very important time. And I think it's going to be really important for this rookie class, too, uh, just to have this extra time. A new team, new regime. You'd love to have as many elements all on the same page from day one. There's a real sense of renewed hope and energy because, uh, you know, new head coach, new GM, and over the course of the offseason program, it was so much install, right, that now it's time to execute. I think that they're at that point and they're ready to show these coaches that they can apply what they've learned. You know, obviously, I, I try to get some sleep last night. I, you know, you're restless, you're excited. It's like the first day of school. Uh, but once, once that horn goes, in my mind, I'm coaching, trying to make sure, you know, trying to touch every part of the team and do my job, coach the football team. So it was fun. It's fun to be out there. He's very smart. He doesn't assume he has all the answers. He knows what he wants the team to look like and play like. He knows exactly the kind of moves he's going to have to make to get there. And he's, he, has, he has a clear sense of direction. But I think he's got the ability to focus both Sunday to Sunday as well as thinking in the longer term. All right, Daron, let's get this going, guys. we got to put another good day in. We got pushed through, right? We're in the middle of training camp, Ron. Let's get us going. Get us going. As we get camp started this week, as we watch things play out here over the next few weeks and this team starts to come together, is if you believe the coaching is going to be better, then this team's going to be better. This is important for the time of the quarterback, right? If you get right here just inside the hash, perfect. The more you move in here, screws up his timing. Get right here, snap it down. He'll make it right or wrong. Guys have to come in here and do their jobs. And I think that's kind of what I'm looking for. I want to see the accountability we keep talking about with the coaching change, right? But I'm really kind of curious as to see how that defense lines up with Dean Pease and what he does to maximize the talent that he has out there to improve. Because whatever the Falcons do, Harry, this year, going to rise and fall on the, the ability of that defense not to collapse late in games. We have room for improvement. That improvement has to come through coaching. So let me ask you, how much better will the coaching be? Reload that. Reload it. We got to get this fixed right here. The same mistake we made yesterday. That coaching staff is holding those guys accountable in every aspect. Like, and if something goes wrong, right then, they're fixing it right on the spot. They're yeah. not waiting to watch film or anything like that. Give me a right tackle. It's got some mental toughness. Get in the huddle. Let's go. He is not giving guys anything. Just because you're here doesn't mean you you are owed a position. You don't get ownership of this thing. You got to go earn it. Let's look at the ball. Get five in the huddle with the quarterback. And let's go. Pay attention. We talk about discipline in the locker room. How about discipline on the field as well? If somebody jumps off sides, they're immediately coming out. You make a mistake out here. I don't care who it is. You're running a lap. We got 700 people here to help you. Know the personnel going in the next play. Have five ready. It's, it's deeper than the message. It's about putting their product on the field, putting their work in. You know, he made it clear that you know we're not going to be about you know slogans and all this whatever it may, it may be. The best player going to play. You know, the toughest dude going to play. Ain't no fluff. You know, we're going he going to try to get the best out of everybody day in and day out. And uh, I can't do nothing but respect it. I love that about him. Next play. Next play. Hey, we got two yards. 
Congratulations, get back in the huddle. We got two yards and we're throwing a party. That's your expectation. Celebrating the guy coming off the football. He's doing his job. I think his style is, you know, he's going to be very upfront, very honest, loud, and, uh, and let you know what he expects from you. And I think guys have bought into that. Uh, but he's genuine, you know, and I, I think that's the biggest thing. Every coach that I've been around, if they're true to themselves, you buy into what they're uh, all about. And that's certainly the case with uh, Arthur Smith. Get the right people in the huddle. Be ready to go. Too damn lethargic. New coach, there's going to be some new vibes, you know. Coach Smith, got a, he got a way he want to run the program. We got to buy in. As players, we got to go all in and uh, put our best foot forward. They know what to expect coming into this week and what Arthur Smith is all about. Now it's about getting down to business, Mike, practicing, executing, and doing all those things. Hopefully that uh, makes us a really good team. Been direct and honest from the whole time since we've had him in the spring. You know, you build him up and the way that the rules were in the spring, and then now you're out here and you're, you're getting into the full speed reps. Uh, they know what the expectation is when we talk. You know, have a team meeting every day. And then out here, a lot of it is. It's pushing them and trying to get them to understand how we want to practice. And it's new. <laughs> Anytime you have change, things are different. You know, the feel, the practice, schedule, the routine, you know, is, is different than, you know, what guys who have been here have been accustomed to. You know, it's fresh, it's new, and uh, it's a challenge. And so, you know, you wake up every morning trying to, you know, come out with the best energy you can and, and uh, try and improve daily. And, um, you know, I think guys have, have done a pretty good job of that the first couple of days. style and the way we practice. If there's a certain way we want to operate, you got to get in condition. You know, no matter how, how much you run, it's, it's always first day you're doing all these football movements, there's nothing that quite prepares for it other than practice and getting through these first four days. Coach Smith do a good job of um, having teach tempo and fast tempo and just straight relentless. Um, I'm still learning. I'm still learning. You know, this is my first year with Coach Smith and, you know, but I trust him with the process he got going for us going forward and uh, I'm going to go all in about it. Let's see, see if we can fight through anything. Get your pad level down. Come on, look at football. There we go. we got to be in good shape. we got to build their legs up. And you got to prove it every year. Can we improve? Are we better You know, going into September 12th than we are today? Now, there's going to be growing pains along the way, and that's every year. You need, that, you need that, the team to improve. And so we're better going into September 12th. It's as simple as that. People are going to be guessing about what we're doing, but... Um, at the end of the day, we're going to stick to our core values, you know, so I just feel good about it. I feel good about it, and uh, I know we're going to be able to give, give people hell. We talk about it all the time. The, the lockers that we have, they're not owned, they're rented. And, you know, you've got to pay rent every day. You've got to go out there, you've got to put in the work and, and make sure that they're not putting a different nameplate on top of it. You know, every time I step onto the field, I've got something to prove, you know, to myself, to the organization that, you know, they're making the right decision and having me here. Guys are starting to separate themselves in terms of being able to push through things, starting to add up. We're trying to challenge them. We're trying to see who emerges. There's really good competition going on. It was, it was fun to see today. These guys are competing. In this year that is going to be all about newness for this team, one of the most important things is, is these guys, coaching staff, players, showing us who they are as quickly as they possibly can. Who are they? What do they look like? What is the offensive identity? What is the defensive identity? Can we at least get an idea of what, what they are and what they're attempting to be and that vision to build upon? From myself, uh, the head coach, Arthur Smith, it, it's an inclusive process. And it's, it's our team, it's our decisions, and it's gonna be our season. I'm excited to see when we get to week one and week two, what they've got under the hood here and they're going to work to win right now. We're not here to rebuild, we're here to win.